Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of voice of radio. So today, well, I'm answering a question, and I do this a lot, right? The majority of my videos come from answering questions. I am basically answering questions that people have asked me. And probably the question I get asked more than any other is, hey, Wossy, how much is this card worth? And I don't know is the honest answer. And if I did start answering all those questions, I would essentially just have to set up an appraisal website and charge people and that would be my job and I don't really want to do that. That doesn't sound like fun. So my plan in this video very simply is, I want to show you how you can go and get values of your cards. And it's not a perfect system. There are many different places to look. I'm going to give you some examples of websites I use, let me be clear. I am not recommending them, except for when I'm, you know, recommending them. And I am not affiliated with them. I am not sponsored by them. This is not a sponsored video. Nobody is paying me or giving me anything to make this video. I am giving you examples of websites I actually use to show you how you can go about valuing cards. The other thing is, especially for older cards, it changes on a daily basis. This is a situation where the term market price is actually appropriate because we're looking at the price at which people are willing to sell and other people are willing to buy. It is not a perfect system, but in this video, I'm going to show you the best I can. Also, quick reminder, I am on my week off at the moment. So first of all, I've had in literally years. So we are down to one video a day. So if you feel so inclined, maybe, you know, Click an extra video or two while you're here for funsies. Could be nice. So a website that I use, I don't know a lot of people use, it has gained quite a nice reputation among the community, is TCG Player. So let's take something like, for instance, our base set Charizard. We go Charizard base, we have a look, and here we've got a bunch of different options, and this is where it can get very confusing. We've got our base set Charizard, that is the one, if you don't know which Charizard you've got, it might well be this one. We've then got base set 2, you'll notice there is a little 2 symbol here, that is base set 2, as opposed to the lacquer symbol which is base set. And we've then got your shadowless first edition here. There are... Now, there are some super rare cards, some super awkward cards, but frankly, if you have these super awkward error cards, etc., you don't need this video because the chance of you having these super rare error cards and not being aware of them is extremely slim. Though I suppose it could happen. Now, TCG Player does list a market price here. That is your general price of about $400. But of course, it really depends on various things. So there's a bunch of sales here. There's one with damaged holofoil. You can pick up for $63. Probably fair to assume it's not going to be in a huge amount of, of good condition. That one has already been sold. The one available here is $90 with damaged holofoil. Again, not going to be in great condition. If we look at all the listings, we've got a moderately played for $370. We've got a lightly played for 570 and we can keep going up here. People who think they've got really good condition cards, you know, someone thinks they've got a near mint and they're selling it for 3500 Now, it is actually fair to point out this one is graded. It is a PSA 9. Graded cards have been sent off to a company and have been appraised. So this is a 9. You will find an awful lot of people who are listing cards saying PSA 10, question mark. They are not PSA graded unless they are actually PSA graded. That is to say encased in a slab, as you can see on the screen. And, you know, actually done. Not if people think they're worth it. So one thing you can do is head on over to TCG Player and just have a look at what people are actually listing them for. So, something like, or oh, what's a card I particularly like? Don Fan Prime is a card I am a huge fan of. So, that's apparently got a market price of $17. But you can actually get a heavily played one here for $7. And no one is selling mint, but someone is apparently selling a near mint for $26. Now, again, someone's trying to sell a lightly played for $40 when there's a near mint for $26 maybe don't buy the $40 lightly played 
all I'm saying. Now, I'm going to use Troll and Toad as an example here. I am not endorsing Troll and Toad. It's just a website I have used in the past. Now, this is a sales website. Now, if we look at TCG Play, it is a marketplace. It is not the only marketplace. Feel free to check any of the other ones out there. Troll and Toad is not the only online selling shop. Feel free to check any of the other ones out there. But it is a shop that will sell a huge amount of different cards. So it's a good one to check. And if we go and look at Don Fan Prime over here, there is a near mint one selling for $20. So again, shop around. If you're in the market to buy, shop around. Don't pay $40 plus shipping for a lightly played when you could go and get a near mint one for $20 or $22 or $24 or $30. You see where I'm going with this. <laughs> Unfortunately, the Spanish one is out of stock. That's a little bit sad. Similarly here, you can go and find your Charizard base set. And again, it gets very awkward. Now, if you're looking for old base set cards, it does get awkward. If you've got an old base set card, it does get kind of awkward. So essentially what we've got here is a whole range of different things. Some graded, some not, some damaged. But Charizard, you know, this back at 8.5, they're listing it for 30,000. Is anyone going to pay it? I don't know. Maybe not. But $150, decent chance. You can see the screen there, you can see the image. It's not terrible, it's okay. So you can use marketplaces, you can use selling sites. Do please bear in mind that these professional selling sites will generally be a little bit more expensive because they are set up like an actual business. They have extra costs, etc. Now, if you want to know what people are actually paying, the best thing to do is go and look at eBay sold. So we would go and have a look at Don Fan Prime. If we don't find one, we can always search for Don Fan Heart Gold Soul Silver. But what you do is you go down the list and you go and have a little bit of a look at sold i.e. what people have actually paid. So a Japanese one has gone and sold for $8.50. A PSA 9 has gone and sold for $130. But just a regular Don Fan Prime has sold for $10. And one has sold for $9. It's not an expensive card is where I'm going here. So one sold for $12. This person really should have put the starting bit a bit lower but you can see here it's selling for around about ten dollars if we look at ebay sold and the amount people are actually selling the card for it's selling for about ten dollars so even as we go back to troll and toad this twenty dollars for a near mint starts seeming a little bit more expensive but then you're buying from a shop with all kinds of guarantees etc shops do charge a little bit more like I've said, there is a difference between older and newer cards. Older cards, especially base set, time you get into all the different conditions and your shadowless first edition, etc. It gets kind of awkward. I don't know how much I can help you with that here. It is way too involved. But we can see that this completely battered Charizard went and sold for $80. And if we take a little bit of a look at this card, this is battered, yeah? This is a mashed up Charizard and it sold for $80. This is a horrendous condition Charizard and it sold for $80. Charizard is a good example here because Charizard is very much a chase card. You'll also find that things like Don Fan Prime that are far more recent, you'll find a lot more near mint cards even though Don Fan Prime is an older card, whereas Charizard, it varies wildly. Here it is a regular Charizard, but it is not completely and utterly mashed so we end up having a well 350 dollar card it's still not a phenomenal condition card although it's quite tidy it's not bad but people have gone and paid over 300 dollars for it this is kind of cool right we like this and those are generally the three places to start marketplaces like tcg player doesn't have to be them just an example i do not endorse them i'm not sponsored by them shops like troll and toad find a shop that sells a wide range of singles again not sponsored by them do not endorse them just using them as an example and ebay sold do not look at ebay listings look at ebay sold items because that is what people have actually been paying and a lot of the time if you want to look from the free ebay sold is the best place to go but you might want something a little bit easier. 
and I'm going to recommend the Dragon Shield app. Now, full disclosure, full transparency, I have worked with Dragon Shield in the past. I will work with Dragon Shield again in the future. I've already got at least one video lined up. This is not a sponsored video, and I want to stress that very clearly. I am not being paid for this video. I have not been asked to do this video. They show me the app, don't get me wrong. But I am showing you the app in this video because I've been using it lately and I like it. I do have prior association with Dragon Shield. I have worked with them in the past. I have, well, plans to work with them again in the future. This is not a sponsored video and I'm not doing this because they told me. But by now I'm hoping you know I'm honest. I'm showing you this because it's cool. Now, I'll be honest with you. I don't actually use the website very much. I tend to use a version on my phone. However... It is so much easier to make a video with a website. So over on the website, I go and search for Donfan. And what I find is, if I go to images, I'm much easier with images. Oh, look, it's all the Donfan, including our old boy Donfan Prime. And when we click on Donfan Prime, it is not only showing us the rough value of it, but it is also showing us the value over time which is clearly a very good thing. It's got a card market price, that is a European marketplace, and a TCG player price, and there is a link where you can go and buy it there if you so wish. So, Donfan here, you can see not only what's happening, but what's changed in the past month. It's gone down 52 cents, it's gone down 3%. This is why I like using this. And there are multiple reasons, right? Firstly, I love being able to see the historical data there. That makes me very happy. Secondly, you might have a Don fan, but you don't know what to search for. For instance, if I show you this Don fan here, I know that it's a Call of Legends Don fan because I know that this set symbol is Call of Legends. You may well not. And that's not a bad thing. Not everyone is as nerdily obsessed with a Pokemon TCG as I am. So if you come to the website, I should mention it's pokertcg.dragonshield.com. Again, not a sponsored video. You search Don Fan, they are all there. Or maybe you want to buy a Don Fan. I love this Mitsuhorita Don Fan from Acropolis. And it is apparently a $14 card. It's gone up a little bit in the past month. But I should be able to pick it up. You know, it's 14 I can pick one up on card market now for €2.50. Maybe not the best condition, but I can certainly pick it up here or there. I can pick it up quite cheaply. I know where to find it. And that's my point here. If I want to know the value, I can. If I want to buy it, and I do, I'm sorry, I really appreciate the fact that they've got a European option to go and buy it and an American option. But again, you don't have to go and buy it from TCG Player or Card Market. Go to eBay, go to Troll and Toad, go to any site. Google Don Fan Aquapolis for sale or buy Don Fan Aquapolis and just see who's selling it and how much for. That'll work very nicely. Now, the reason I like using my phone here, it's got a camera. And all you need to do is you get your card and you select the camera option on the app and it's available on all the main app stores and you scan your card. And when you scan your card, it will then show you what the card is and you basically get on your phone this. It will show you what the card is. It will show you all the information. It will show you the price. So if you've got a stack of cards and you don't know what they are, you can go and enter them on the website. I don't personally. I like flicking around. It's fun. I like looking at card values. I'm a nerd like that. But you can just literally grab your phone on the app, scan the card, and buy artwork. It will show you what it is. Now, it's not perfect because if you look at this Don fan, we've got a league promo. And it's got all the hash. But you will notice that the promo Don Van has different art. Uh, sorry, the same art as just the regular Don Van from Heart, Gold, Soul, Silver. So it's not going to work. Similarly, stamped cards like staff promos, tournament promos, etc. You're not going to find the values on here because they're doing it by artwork. Having said that, I have mentioned this to Dragon Shield. And hopefully this will be something they try and implement in the future. You will notice that newer pre-release promos do have different artwork. So because they've got different artwork, you will be able to actually do this just using the camera, which is kind of cool. I'm a big fan of this. This is personally the way I tend to do it nowadays. It's very, very quick and easy. And it's got the scanner on your phone, which is cool. And if you want to know the value of your cars, this is where to go. Once again have prior association with Dragon Shield, but this is not a sponsored video. I just think this is a cool app. Or you can use any selling site, 
or you can use TCG Player. If you want the most accurate prices, you're probably better off going to eBay Sold than anywhere else. The problem with eBay Sold is it is all over the place because it varies by condition. And like I showed you with DonFam, there will occasionally just be somebody who puts it up with no minimum and it ends at an awkward time of day and somebody wins a card for 125 It's not a $1 card, but that ends up being there. The easiest thing to do is a Dragon Shield app. And there probably are other apps out there. This is the one I tend to use. If you want to use a different app, go for it. But this is the one that I use. eBay is probably the most accurate, but it's also by far the most awkward because you can see it does vary wildly. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Want to know how much your cards are worth? It's not an easy question. So this has been a slightly longer video than usual where I have given you what I can, and this is the best information that I can give you at the time. This is the best thing I can do, because when I am looking for card values to use in my video, this is what I do. This is what I use. There we go. But now it's over to you guys. If you've got any other places you use that you want to shout out, chuck them down in the comment section. If you've got particularly cool cards that you were surprised about the value, let me know in the comment section. Frankly, tell me anything you want to tell me. Go nuts. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash PTCG Radio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all that good stuff, head on over to patreon.com slash PTCG Radio, where you can do exactly that. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.